Acetyl fentanyl, it's the newest version of fentanyl plaguing the streets of Jacksonville. And as we are learning, it's creating heartbreak for local families. I first explained this new drug back in November, while also speaking about my own father losing his battle with addiction. After my story that aired on News for Jax last night, Fight for Addiction, others reached out to say addiction has hurt their families too, including two moms who both lost their sons to acetophenol. And for the first time, the three of us got to have a real honest conversation about losing someone to the disease without feeling any shame in talking about it. We got a knock on the door at 2.30 in the morning um, with two detectives and telling us that I, I knew when my husband went to the door, mm -hmm. I, I knew I just instinctively put on my robe, put on my bedroom slippers and just walked to the door and you know, you know, it's every, you know. It, you know, it's every mother's worst fear. And there it was. Only a few months later, Carol got the knock on the door. They were there to uh, give the worst news ever that any parent will ever hear. And when they left our home, they had five more homes to go to that night. They left my yeah. home at yeah. midnight, going to five more homes with the same news of your child. Yeah has overdosed. According to the Duval County Medical Examiner's Office, in 2019, 132 people who died as a result of an overdose had acetyl fentanyl in their systems at the time of their deaths. That's why less than a year after losing their children, these mothers say they needed to share their story. What made you say yes to doing this? Because we don't ever want to waste our pain. I go back to if it helps one person encourages one person or one family, then we've done our job. And now this morning, I'm sitting down with the doctor who first told me about this version of fentanyl, Dr. Raymond Palm with Gateway Community Services. Good morning. Good morning, Lauren. So this drug is something we learned about last year, but it's still relatively new. Yeah, in fact, I'd say most people around the country don't know anything about it. I don't hear about it at all. And, you know, when we talked about it, what's the best way you to explain this version of fentanyl? So I, I think the simplest way is to think of the poor business model the black market folks had when they first came out with fentanyl from China. It was killing their customers. I, mean, I think everyone can agree it's a horrible business model. <laughs> um, and I guess they eventually figured out by manipulating a molecule just a bit we already knew about analogs or equivalents to or similar drugs to fentanyl. Uh, you could actually make a fentanyl that would keep one addicted, but not as easily uh, killing their customers. And that's what acetyl fentanyl is, where fentanyl is 50 to 100 times more potent than heroin. Acetyl fentanyl is 5 to 20 times more potent than heroin. So. Those people that are addicted to heroin or narcotics in general or opioids, uh, they can take this drug, not die as easily. If they do overdose, they're more easily reversed or brought back to, to life. But you can die. Oh, there's no question about it. You can die. Especially those that are opiate naive and those that continue to push the limits of their tolerance or how much drug they can actually take, which unfortunately people with this problem continue to push their tolerance and eventually they stop breathing. And something, one of the mothers, the, one of the sons you just learned about, he actually thought he was taking a Xanax and that's very common with this drug. You're thinking you're taking one thing, but you're actually taking something else. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I've been saying now for many, many months that recreational drug use is now lethal. I say that because we find that fentanyl or acetyl fentanyl is found in so many of the other drugs, methamphetamine, amphetamine, cocaine, marijuana, Xanax, fake oxycodone pills, it's everywhere. People might say, well, I know the person I'm getting it from. The problem is they don't know their dealer's dealer or their, de their dealer's dealer's dealer. Mm -hmm. And you just don't know what you're getting. It only takes one hit off a joint, one pill that's tainted with this drug, one snort of cocaine that has this drug in it, and you're dead. Let's talk about the first steps in getting help. What is that? <sighs> Unfortunately, a lot of addicts have a lot of shame and guilt. And it's very, very difficult to them to, for them to step forward and ask for help. Family members, uh, 
People who are close to them, please don't judge. They've got a disease. The first step is really in their support system's response. And it's so very, very important that no matter how much the individual is suffering, they're still going to be cared for, loved, and helped once they're ready. Don't put them down for it. The other thing is that family members and individuals who suffer with this disease should be carrying Narcan with them. That's a reversal agent. Uh, God forbid they take too much, they stop breathing. If someone's with them with Narcan, it's by nose, mm -hmm. intranasally, they can give them a dose of this and it revives them for several minutes, enough time for JFRD, Jacksonville Fire and Rescue, uh, to come out and get them and start other life-saving uh, measures. Sorry. Um, once they're revived, this is your chance. There's help out there. We can help. There's uh, recovery, there's medication, there are different types of treatment that are available. Uh, it just takes a little willingness, uh, just a little, little hint of willingness to put that lifestyle of addiction and devastation behind and start opening up the doors to a new life of hope and freedom. Every life matters. Uh, there's no question. Dr. Palm, thank you so much and thank you for what you do. Oh, thank you so much for having me. And if you need help or know someone who does, right now on your screen, there's actually a toll-free number to contact an alcohol or drug abuse counselor for free. It's 1-800-780-2294. They will work with anyone towards the first steps to getting help. And I know that, Dr. Palm, you will always work with anybody who wants to get help. Uh, there's no question about it. So Gateway Community Services for that. We'll yeah. be right back.